What evolved from the 5000 series was the married pair single-ended cars known as the 6000s. Eventually, there would be 770 cars of this design. The first group of cars, numbered 6001 through 6130, featured twin headlights and a front signboard up at the top with a green large band running through the standee windows these cars helped open the Milwaukee Dearborn subway subway number two in 1951 on the Logan Square route Another 70 cars would be added to the fleet. These sported a single headlight and no green window band. Then, beginning with car 6201, the cars were rebuilt from remanufactured equipment from PCC streetcars. The fleet that so recognized and identified Chicago Transit was underway. The last of the cars came in a dazzling color scheme. The last 50 cars were double-ended, one-man operation cars, and the last four, numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, had 70 mile per hour capability. Borrowing from the New York Transit Museum, catch all the 6,000s you missed. In the days of 6000s on the main line, running express Howard to Bryn Mawr, a southbound subway train.
This action is transpiring at the Belmont station on the north-south main line. At Armitage Avenue. The Ravenswood and Evanston on the outside track, the north-south subway on the middle track. The rear of this Ravenswood train is the Crambles cars, a special repaint. These cars are currently at the Fox Valley Transit Museum. Now we work our way north from downtown. We're on the Wells Street Bridge.